Hi there, welcome to my uh, star system and AD star. Uh, this is a quick overview of how I do um, my shipments. You can see I've got uh, warp lands set up to a number of different places. I use these to try and make it as easy as possible to get shipments onto the lanes. So places like this where there's a planet on either side rather than creating extra warp lanes which is very expensive. Uh, these shipments move into here and these shipments move into here. I do the same down here with these. I do the same down here with these three all moving into here. And this is my other uh, trade station moving into here. All the minor planets in the middle, they are all connected, but I don't worry about them too much because they're smaller payment amounts. And this planet over here, this is my uh, white star, red star arrangement. So here's my white star scanner. Uh, here is my blue star scanner over here um, and this is my red star scanner and my research station so I'm not too worried about this you can see here I keep my relics on here and now and then it generates uh, crystal payments for me which are quite good and I'll use those when I can so to get started um, what I normally do is find my shipment drone I only have one of them and I get it started straight away now VAR will probably say that his method is a little bit different in this regard. He tends to accumulate all his shipments first and then maximize, maximize the bonuses from the uh, shipment computer bonuses. But I tend not to do that. I like to play um, a little bit quicker of a game than him. So I will bring all my shipments together. Where there's something like this where it's going to pick up something from here and move it on there, I'll do that. Otherwise, I just uh, pick up all the payments I can and move them in towards those hub planets. So, I use this as a minor hub. hasn't got very much storage there, but it's got not too bad. Uh, this is a main hub for the drone, and this is a main hub for the drone. Um, I, I wondered about bringing this uh, lane closer into here, but I tried to make it sort of equal distance between the planet's servicing and make it easy enough to get into that trade station. Uh, the other, only op other option is to move the trade station over here and then it's kind of just as bad as it was. So this seems to work for me. Um, and then I have a wee bit of a pattern where I take all my shipments from the surrounding things and I dump them in that planet. Uh, ones that are going to over here I will do as soon as I can. Uh, this being one of my main hub planets fills up really fast with drone shipments so what I want to do is take all the non-drone shipments off it. So bear with me as I just uh, scroll through here I know which ones I'm talking about. You can see them if I clicked on the on the planet, uh, the ones that aren't connected to the uh, warp lands. So Um, I know some people like to name their planets according to 1, 2, 3, east, west, north, south and all that but I tend to have a theme so my theme is if you haven't noticed Lord of the Rings all my planets are named after Lord of the Rings and as far as I can I keep that theme going and really um, naming your planets 1, 2, 3, east, west, north, south is just the same as having a more meaningful name you still have to remember where each one is and so I just find it, find it easier to do that. Now this is another major hub planet it also fills up very fast with um, off lane shipments but I tend to uh, be able to get two lanes uh, lots of shipments into it first before I need to filter them out. Now all of this that I'm doing here, this is just kind of setting up for the main bit, so if you want you can skip ahead a wee bit in the recording. Um, but what I'm trying to do here is get all the drone shipments as, as quickly as I can onto the main um, planets for drone shipments and all the non-drone shipments, I'm trying to prioritise them and get them onto my other hub planet down here 
uh, minus turf. This one here I use as a accumulation point for my off drone um, shipments and you'll see why when I get to that in a wee while. So down here at minus turf I want to get all the um, shipments that are can be taken by the drone, I want to get them off this planet and I'm going to deliver them to one of the two planets at the top. So I'll just skip through here, these are quite fast, well organised. You can see I normally organise my list according to distance, I just find it easiest that way to uh, work out what's going what. And I try not to send this lot to that planet because there's shipments there, so I'll send it over here instead. That way I get to maximise the bonus when I come to bonus time with my main off-lane shipping. At this stage there's not very many um, shipments that I'm accumulating from other places. I'm still bringing in shipments from the periphery. Uh, I said before that this planet fills up quite fast, so by the time these two are unloaded into it, you can see I can actually only unload eight into it, so I'll start selecting... Oops, sorry, I selected the wrong ones. Uh -huh. uh, I'll start selecting the drone shipments to leave behind on this planet. And then I'll take away the off-lane shipments a bit of jiggery pokery here trying to get this done definitely easier to do this on a PC with a mouse and a scroll wheel um, and you can see there's a few uh, offlane shipments still left here. Eskaroth is over here, that's offlane. And uh, I might have a chance to come back to them later on if I feel like it. Otherwise, I won't worry about it too much. Now, these are all starting to accumulate more than the planet can hold. So you can see it's a 36 shipment planet, so you can hold 72 items here. Uh, so I need to get rid of some of the offline shipments and bring them down to my other hub. Meanwhile, my drone is still going around creating space for me, and you can see why I started early. If I don't start it early, I absolutely drown in shipments. Now, around about now, I start thinking about where is my transport that's got trade burst and trade boost on it, because I want to make sure that this transport is empty. This is the one I'll use for most of my shipments. So here, you can see already that I've got a few um, shipments that I can't load on. I've got uh, four loads left on this, so I need to find a way of emptying that. Uh, this transport up here that's coming down is only half full. So I should be able to uh, get some loads onto that. Uh, this transport here is all full of drone loads and it can't unload because this planet is totally full. So I'll wait until that uh, shipment drone has done its thing. And then... Uh, sometimes it just gets a bit stuck. Then I can offload some more of those. Uh, this one here was transferring from the hub planet down here up to here so I can get rid of all that. Uh, now I send him on a little bit of a scurry around to pick up some of the rags. Uh, so if I'm in a hurry I won't worry about doing this. Um, it's only if I'm going to do the whole load that I'll start doing that. Just spin this up a bit.
Right, so what I'm still trying to do is create space in here. So I need to bring four shipments from here, from the planet, onto this uh, transport, which is only partly empty. And what I try and do is get a whole bunch of similar shipments on to the one transport and get rid of all the ones that are dissimilar. You'll work out the process for your own system as you go, but I try and do these further away destinations first because um, the initial boost here is on trade burst and trade boost gives me at the moment about 35% bonus and then once this one drops away it drops down to about 24% so I'm trying to get rid of those first. Right so at this stage here my trade burst and boost computer Oh, sorry, transport is empty and the way I try and run this now is to do these very first uh, close ones first because this uh, trade burst has a 14 shipment that you have to do before the benefits kick in so I want to get those 14 shipments done as quickly as I can and so what I'll just do is select I'll need to select as many albums deep as I can So I've got 11 there from Helm's Deep, and then I fill it up with up to 14 with um, minus ethyl, and this is how I do my thing. Now you'll also see that this transport has rush installed, so rush means that it will go faster depending on how many shipments it's got going to that destination. So this is where the magic comes in. The, tr the drone is doing its thing, it's getting bonuses on every shipment, because of concentrated shipments on hub planets, there's more chance that it's going to maximise uh, returns on those. Now I want to get my other part going. So let's go down here to Helm's Deep, turn on my trade burst, and you see there's 14 shipments. Turn on my trade boost, and I set up my movement in advance. Now I click back on this planet here, I can unload some more of these shipments here. I have a look at where can I get a load of 24 so I can get 10 and 14 there so I'll sh get this and go to 10 go to 14 and then I'll go back home again now what I normally try and do if I can is I try and have one or two shipments back at minus ethyl per load so that you can really get the benefit of rush coming back here you can see that this flame is reasonably good but not too flash at this stage uh, but we'll try and see what happens when he picks up his extra load. So this is normal speed, right? There's no shipments being delivered to minus ethyl, and so this is the speed the transport ship will go. Uh, when he gets to here, he's going to pick up 10 shipments are there, so you'll see the speed dramatically increase when it gets to here, it'll be in 14, and it'll dramatically increase again. Now this is the speed of the ship, it's not the speed of the system. So you'll notice the ship will go tremendously fast, but the countdown timer on these benefits won't change. It's not like a warp where the benefit shortens. So there you go, we've got a big flame out the back, I've picked up 24 shipments, there's a bonus applied to all of those shipments, and these countdowns carry on happening regular time, one second, one second. So now I can go back to bringing in the dribs and drabs of uh, shipments from my other outlying planets that I haven't collected from yet, and I just keep an eye in the corner of my eye out for my um, ship here because it can get away on you very fast. Next thing you know you're running out of um, options. The idea is to always have the next move planned in advance so that it always just automatically picks up the shipment and gathers it. You can see now that the flame is even bigger. This is only with 14. Uh, when you load this up with 23 or 24 shipments to the same destination it really flies. Uh, 
Uh, now, unfortunately, we've got the slow trip back home. I'll just speed up the time modulator here so it doesn't take so long. What I can do while that's happening is look at my next shipment. Uh, so I'm going to do, I can do 16 and uh, 26. I might do 16 and 4, makes 20, and then a couple here. So I click on here, and I can go, because he's already going back there, next waypoint there, next waypoint here, next waypoint here, and then back to the hub planet again. So this is the shortest route that normally it will go without any um, uh, any rush benefit. going to pick up another load of 24, apply the bonus to it all the way. It's flying up here now because it's going to 16 here. I'll turn off my modulator, otherwise I'll get ahead of myself. These um, transports are big enough for the starting planets to normally take a whole lot of shipments off the moons and concentrate them on the main planet. So I do that as well if I can. And then I'm just going to take off the offland shipments. No, not here at all. I think there was another one I misclicked on here before too. See, there's still a few there left that I can't do. Meanwhile, this one's still going strong. I need to start thinking about where my next load is. Uh, this transport is holding a whole lot of shipments, so let's empty that onto the planet to give you a better idea of what's going on. Uh, so 12 and 11, uh, 23 plus 1 there, so let's do that. So I'm going to go to Wolf Tank, Ruindale, and then back to here. So you see, I just set up the whole shipment all at once. Can't believe that planet's so full. Sometimes you'll get a whole lot of shipments that are on lane rather than off lane. So this planet here is completely full. It's got 72 shipments on it. I still can't unload some of them from here and here. I'm just going to cut my losses for now. Uh, this transport here can go up here and collect shipments from this little planet here with its moons. And so I just keep on doing this as I'm going through. You'll see though that this uh, still got two and a half minutes to go. And this one's still got 12 minutes to go. So at the moment I'm getting 30% bonus just on the shipments from this one. Plus the bonus, bonus from the shipment computer plus the fact that all of my times here are longer because I go faster a lot of the time so the time effect is not sped up like you do with time modulator or time warp. Uh, to be honest most of the time I don't worry about collecting offland shipments from these uh, little planets here because there's not much value in them but I do normally do these ones and the next one here. You can see the bonus here, 3990 plus 1500, so 30% bonus. Let's have a closer look at that again, so you can see how much faster this is moving with rush compared to the other transport that was beside it, and even compared to when you were looking before, you might have seen compared to the trade drone, drone it's even going faster than that. See here, uh, hard to see there. Uh, 5 3 plus 2100 bonus. So I can run all my shipments in about 20 minutes this way. I'm going to do 16, 16 and 8 makes 24 for there. That's all right.
Hope that gives you an idea of how I use Rush with Shipment Computer, Trade Boost and Trade Burst to maximise my offland shipments, while using Shipment Drone to maximise my onland shipments. Now you can um, go to each of your hub planets and use Shipment Computer by going onto an asteroid, picking up a load, um, scheduling a trip to all these different planets. So sorry, I'll explain it again. You start on an asteroid. You set up a, a route that goes planet, then to all your various other planets in your route that's, that's going to fill up your transport, and then um, cancel it before it actually gets there. So you'd go asteroid to planet to gate to planet to planet to planet to planet. Transport goes in here, picks up your load. You cancel the movements so it only goes this far and then you go back to the planet and drop them all off so you can do that to maximize your return but I really find you need a huge fleet of transports to do that uh, and you quickly overwhelm yourself with extra shipments I hope this is helpful I'll sign off now so that the video is not too big